Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Kwan's with me. Listen, we've just beaten Sheffield United 5 0 at the Emirates. It's, you know, bottom of the league, but a performance in the end that, you know, we, we wanted to see. We want to see a demolition, and we got that in the end, Kwan. Yeah, demolition job, clean sheet. I think that's our, what, out of 10 games, our fifth clean sheet as well. Mm. Uh, Obviously, everyone will be talking about Eddie and Ketia. We'll talk about him in a minute. But, you know, him scoring his first hat trick before Rashford, by the way, Man United fans. Remember that? <laughs> um, but no, no, it's good. Good performance. Good yeah. performance. Good way to end the week as well, especially in the Champions League. Mm. So, yeah, no. Are you, are you liking what you're seeing going forward? Because obviously, we've, got, we've still got a run of fixtures that, you know, we've got West Ham in the week and we go straight to Newcastle away. So it's, it's busy. But do you see an Arsenal now getting into their rhythm. I keep asking everyone this, so I want to know where you're kind of at, or do you think we're still far off what we're wanting to see? I think we're far off. I mean, like, yeah. when you look at it, we, there's no Odegaard, there's no Partey, we haven't got Timber in the squad. We're, we're still, Arteta's still juggling or rotating the squad effectively, mm. you know, because he's trying to minimise those injuries. But in terms of playing, you know, the level that we played last season, we haven't reached it yet. Yeah. But I would rather it be that way anyways, that it, it takes us a while. To, so by the time we get to Christmas, you know, we're hitting the ground running, you know, we've got our momentum, we've got a good 11, strong 11. Yeah. Um, so right now it's just more or less about grinding out those results. For me personally, I think it is. This, this is showing a different, a different side to us in the sense that yeah. certain games we don't play well, but we're still managing to get a result. Today, we didn't really get out of second gear. Mm. Let's be real. I mean, first half was a bit slow. Second half, we stepped up a bit. But, mm. you know, no disrespect to Sheffield United. They're not the, the most top in, when it comes to in the Premier League in terms of the teams. But we had to beat whatever was put in front of us. And yeah, yeah goals was, it was goals galore today. Goals yeah, I, galore, I do yeah. want you to, I wanna, I want you to speak on it a little bit more there. We said, you know, it, it seems different to what we were doing last season. Because if you think about it, I think you're right there. We're using more of our squad yeah. and trying to work things out. And it, yeah. and it, listen, at times we've been frustrated we haven't picked up a win, but we're still unbeaten. So do you think, yeah, talking out a bit more, you know, that we are not, not, not the same as last season, but it's building mm. towards something potentially, hopefully a, a good run to hopefully to some trophy or some silverware. Yeah, I mean, like, you, you look at it, I remember when Tomiyasu was getting injured last season, again, yeah. part, part A again, and yeah. who was filling in? Well, do, yeah. do you know what I mean? Saliba, we, we, that was a big one for us. So now we've got our big hitters, obviously minus Parte and that. We've got our big hitters back. Tomiyasu getting a goal. I'm really happy for yeah. him. Really, really happy. He put in a really good performance earlier this week, defensive mm. performance. Um, and he, he came on and he done his thing. I just think it's just... It's interesting now because we're seeing a lot of the players that maybe didn't feature when they first came into the squad, i.e., let's say Trossard. I know he's still coming off on the bench, but you're seeing he's moving with a certain confidence yeah, now. He's, he's you know, so every time he was, oh man, every yeah. time he was touching the ball, you know, with his right foot, he was cutting in, etc., running with it. Smith Rowe, he had a few elements where I saw the old Smith Rowe back. Yeah. In a sense, he's finding those little pockets and playing a little one twos. And then obviously, I think he helped and Ketia scored the third one. But I just think that in the sense of uh, the players, there's, we're moving with a bit more confidence. And yeah. that's what I was saying when I was last uh, finishing the live, that a lot of the players are now trusting each other. And that's very important when you're within the squad. You need to trust the man that's nice. next to you. I t I'm pretty sure that they all now trust Enketi. And I was watching the goals when I was listening to the to the interviews. And he was kind of like, he was signaling like, yeah, I'm, I'm here, yeah, I'm, I'm, here. Arrived, I'm yeah. arrived. And um, even going back to the documentary, the Arsenal documentary, when he was complaining to Lukonga, or Lukonga was complaining, he's like, bro, just shut up, man. Just yeah. put your head down and work. And, work. and yeah. now you're seeing, you're reaping the benefits. It's, it's amazing to see. So I'm really happy for Nketi as well. Man. Let's, 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 we're going to go into his goals in a second, yeah, yeah. Uh, how much he's, you know, proving something they say is wrong. But I want to, you brought something up there that made me think, yeah, is Arteta got a conundrum now with, with Tommy Asu and his Zinchenko thing? Because Tommy Asu's coming, you're right, he scored, he scored his first goal. He was defensively mm -hmm. really good. He's been defensively really good in the previous yeah. games as well. Zinni didn't have a bad game today either. No, no, Zinni done very well. I think we pointed it out. Yeah. Uh, James pointed it out enough times where we know that he, he kind of tucks into that midfield and he dictates the play. Um, Zinchenko, you, you know what you're going to get with Zinchenko in terms of the quality. I just think it's the legs. It's, sometimes it's the speed. When we're going up against certain opposition, you do need more of a, a defensive-sided yeah. player. And that's where Tommy Yasu comes in. So I feel like Arteta, he solves that conundrum where depending on who we play, he's like, okay, cool. Right. I'm, I'm going to put Tommy Yasu for a game against Sevilla because, you know, we're gonna, the wingers are going to be up against it. Would Zinchenko be able to turn and get back quickly enough? Mm. Highly unlikely. Whereas Tommy Yasu, he's got that. So I think 
he's got options. Yeah. And I think that's what he always wanted. He wanted to have options within the squad where he can kind of chomp and change the squad to whoever we're playing against. Mm. And then also for the opposition, it's very hard to, to pick up who's who's playing where because you see that all of our roles are so interchangeable. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Like Zinchenko's in the midfield. Um, sometimes Tommy Asu will drop in midfield. Uh, the wingers will swap. Saka, maybe Martinelli or Trossard. You never know. They'll tuck in. Um, so yeah, it's it's really interesting it to is. see. It's no, really it is. It is. And I want to I want to finish up on on Eddie and Ketia because yeah. some people will say, you know, I spoke to some people. Even if you got a hat trick, maybe not start against Newcastle. Mm -hmm. You can talk about the goals and how people were uh, perform yeah. say through that because mm -hmm. does he start for against for Newcastle for you? Because you just spoke about Tommy Asu might be fit against Seville because defending wise instead mm -hmm. of Zinchenko, will that play into Newcastle come next week? It has to. It's, it's a bit different. When you're talking about defenders and we have an abundance, let's say an abundance of defenders compared to strikers, mm -hmm. but Gabriel Jesus is out. Uh, we haven't got anyone else who's going to bring in those goals. Yes, we can turn to Havertz, let's just say, or Trossard and yeah. say, yeah, false nine. But in terms of... And the thing is, I was listening to Laurie and I, I had to sit back today because, you know, I made a few mistakes. I put my <laughs> neck on the line for Havertz. And then Nketiah, and the thing is, I've always bigged up Nketiah because I believe he is a quality, quality yeah, yeah, player. It's just that he needs more. I felt that like he needs more time, but I guess the time is now. He seized his opportunity. Mm. If he does start against Newcastle, I am expecting him to score. I want him to score mm -hmm. so he can prove me wrong again. Now, I'm not saying that what he's done today is, is insignificant. It's just that, for me, a big-time player, we just, see, we just saw it with Bellingham, yeah. what he's doing. Do you know what oh, I mean? Classical, you, yeah. you have to do it consistently. If you want to be deemed as one of the top players, you're wearing the number 14 shirt, you're getting paid big money, you have to do it consistently, not just against the lesser team. So, for me, yeah, he has to start. I want him to score. I really hope he will do well. I have faith he will. Um, but I think that this was just the performance he needed in order for others to believe in him.